Right now at six, time is running out tonight. The clock is ticking once again to get registered to vote. The deadline was extended in Florida after a website malfunction, but there's not much time left. So just one hour left. The deadline to register once again ends at seven o'clock tonight. Florida leaders extended that deadline after that website crashed last night. Many saw an error notice when they were trying to register. We're told more than a million people were trying to access that site in the final hours. But tonight we have the extension and we have live team coverage for you. On your side's Ken Amaro standing by with some really good information for you tonight. Let's start though with David Jones and this new deadline. David. Jeannie, that's right. Between now and seven o'clock, that's just under an hour. You still have time to register to vote if you've not done so yet. You can do it online on the state's website. You can also come to your local elections office, to the DMV or to the tax collector. You can even drop your registration forms in the mail as long as they're postmarked for today. This was a seven hour extension of the original deadline that started at noon, again ending at seven o'clock tonight. But some state officials and voting rights advocates saying it's just not enough time following everything that went wrong with the website last night. Error message on error message. The state's voter registration site inaccessible for much of the night Monday, despite assurances at the time from the Secretary of State, who tweeted just before six o'clock that the site was online and working after a short delay. This is completely frustrating. It's it's been frustrating for months, though. Brad Ashwell is the Florida director for the advocacy group. All voting is local. His group and others have pressed the state on the security and stability of the site for years. The site has not been stress tested by an independent third party. We've heard from various people, not the state, um, that they have done stress tests, but we don't know who the vendor is. Ashwell and other voting advocacy groups calling for the deadline to be extended further to Thursday night. They say the seven hour extension isn't enough time, especially for people who may be at work or school. The Secretary of State's office blames a high volume of requests on the website last night, an average of 1.1 million clicks per hour. Meanwhile, a coalition of voting rights groups filed a lawsuit against the state in an attempt to extend the deadline. Again, we're coming up on that deadline very quickly now at 7 o'clock this evening. You still have time to register to vote. We're live in downtown Jacksonville. David Jones, First Coast News on your side. So as we're hearing, you have about an hour to register to vote in Florida. You can register in person at your county's supervisor of elections office, but it's probably easiest to register online at this point. So just go to register to vote florida.gov. We also have a link on firstcoastnews.com to help you out and make it easy for you. Anthony. Supervisors of elections across the state are bracing for an increase in mail in ballots. We've been telling you about that for weeks now. So if you plan to vote by mail, the deadline to have a ballot mailed to you is 10 days before November 3rd. In 2016, a number of ballots were kicked out due to common mistakes, and now the group headcount is working to make sure your vote is counted. All your sides, Ken Amaro with those common mistakes to avoid. That's correct, Anthony. The message from head count is that your vote counts, so make it count. As you pointed out, in 2016, a number of ballots were uh, kicked out. Also in 2016, they had registered about 160,000 new voters nationwide. This election cycle, they've registered more than 200,000 new voters. So their effort now is to make sure that you do things right so that when your ballot comes in, whether it's in the ballot box behind me, or in the mail, your vote counts. This girl is on fire. In 2004, Headcount, the nonpartisan group, began voter registration drives at concerts. It continued until COVID-19. And then this year kind of threw us for a loop because all our, uh, our music events were canceled. Joseph Guido, a Florida Headcount team leader, says this election cycle, they're engaging voters electronically. You know, we're doing um, uh, texting campaigns all across the country. Guido says the main objective in 2004 and now is to get people registered to vote. We really believe that if everybody votes, then everyone will have a say in the outcome. In 2016, more than 20,000 Florida ballots were kicked out due to common mistakes. These are the common mistakes he says you should avoid. One, forgetting to sign your mail-in ballot. It has to be signed. If, if there's no signature, it's, it's not accepted. Your signature is not up to date and fails to match the one on record. There's something called a process where you could cure your ballot, 
which means you have some time to fix a problem. Three, you filled in more than one bubble per section on the ballot. If they bubble in both, then that doesn't get counted. That's an overvote. This election cycle will see an increase in voting by mail. He says to be sure that your vote is counted, go to the Supervisor of Elections website and verify your ballot was received and accepted. I think we're in really good shape here in Florida as far as, uh, as voting. Now, Guido tells me in spite of issues with past elections, this election cycle, Florida is very proficient in handling these mail-in ballots. Given the technology, you and I can check our ballots from when, when it leaves the home to when it gets to the supervisor of elections office. In other words, we can track it pretty much the same way that you would track a package coming to your home. In fact, a few minutes ago, I went on the website for the supervisor of elections office and already more than 40,000 ballots have been cast. Back to you.